Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Sin. Today we'll be reading for, uh, let's do fire signs. Sag, Aries, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep track as to when I'm making more videos and to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. This is Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday, and also my birthday month as well too. So, um, Definitely save forty percent on your uh, your order, your whole total order. All right, and I got some new items and products on there as well too. So definitely take a look at that when you can. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go with the fire signs. All right, we have Joy could be Judy, Jelly. Also hearing young juvenile could be juvie as well. I know juvie is not spelled that way, J U V I E, but I don't know, it's just sticking out to me in this way. So we have young juvie, young juvenile, jelly. All right, let's let's go with young juvenile. What's going on with this young juvenile? What's going on with this young juvenile? All right, they are discouraged and they're currently going through a bumpy transition at this time. Why? Because there is a lack of balance. Okay, they are impatient. a lot of arguing a lot of fighting and they just want a new beginning they're tired of the fighting they're tired of the argument and they, they just want a new beginning they're very shy so they may not tell you how they feel they're in a form of confusion or in some some array uh, of confusion here but the page page of wands pages uh represents like childhood it could be inner child as well too or someone could be acting very juvenile very young minded as well so it could be an adult it could be a child take a how it resonates um but things are going to work out in the end with the four of wands here so if someone was worrying about something or someone it is going to work out in the way that it needs to work out clarify these arguments in this confusion please arguments and confusion What's going on with these arguments and confusion? All right, someone is doing um, love or magic. They're doing um, spells, love spells on someone to sway someone, to sway someone um, into like loving or loving them. Yeah, they want this person to be in pain. That's, that's the back part of it that you're not aware of. But there's someone that is actively doing some form of love work, candle work. Um, but the back end of it is that it keeps backfiring because it's bringing forth all these arguments and this confusion here. So flow is in reverse and then we have disruption here. So this person doesn't have any good intentions. And let me just say this. If you have to do love work or love spell to keep somebody or to get someone, that says a lot about your... Uh, you... you, you Real, real authentic people don't have to do love spells to bring forth someone. And when I say it in this way, meaning you're not going against someone's free will. So if someone doesn't like you, why are you doing love spells on top of them? It always backfires. Not almost always, it always backfires, okay? So there's someone that is definitely doing some um, love spells here that is backfiring here. And now they're starting to experience pain. It can actually be some form of a physical pain or it could be a heartache or a heartbreak that they're feeling, okay? So I don't feel like this is a child. Even though the page of wands is here, I feel like this is an adult, okay? So I just wanted to make that clear before I got 
got a little bit deeper into this reading here. But yeah, someone is definitely doing some work, some love work, and the shit just keep fucking backfiring, and they're not understanding why it's not working the way that they, they intended for it to work. It's causing a lot of uh, a lack of balance, um, very slow movement here, um, discouragement, someone is in despair, a lot of bumpy transition is here, um, a lot of confusion, but they want to get a new beginning with the four wands is something is going to be celebrated okay so whoever is doing this love spell on this person they're going to be very aware that you have been doing love spell on them their yeah, growth is in reverse and i feel like they're going to come out of that that daze or whatever it is that you were doing towards them to kind of keep them stuck in some kind of a like love like a love days like who people still do love spells like that's so fucking like Y'all can say what y'all want. Like if you if you have to do love spells against somebody's will to make them stay, you ain't got no fucking power. Like, cause you you gotta keep doing that shit over and over and over for like the rest of your life. Like, and who who has time for that? Be authentic so you can attract someone that that tra that attracts your authenticity. But a lot of people don't stand their their authentic selves. They don't know how to. So, yeah, someone is trying to bind here with the etheric cord here, or they're trying to create some kind of a cord, all right? It could be with kids as well, too. Uh, maybe wanted to attract you with kids so you can't go anywhere, all right? That ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got alchemy here, alchemy and intuition. So someone is doing alchemy, but they're not using their intuition. Like, this shit is just gonna fucking backfire, bro. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Shit, wow. Yeah, it's going backfire. What else? Like I told you, resistance. Resistance. Someone is going to get wind and love spells were done on top of them and they they not they not gonna go with that shit. They're gonna be like, what the fuck you doing, bro? Like seven minutes. Yeah, they're gonna be like, what are you doing? Someone feels like they can't come and speak to a person, so this is why they have to resort to some kind of a love spell. But like I said, it's just causing a lot of chaos in their world currently, in the future, or past, okay? Because this is a fluid time, timeless read. So you can either be, uh, you have not experienced this yet, you will be experiencing this, or this will be happening in the future. You got to place yourself where you are in the story, okay? Yeah, somebody in a lot of trouble because it's just everything that they keep doing in regards to the spell work, it just keep fucking backfiring. And someone is feeling some kind of a heartache or heartbreak. They, they, they can't take this. Like, why? I just want to be with this person. Yeah, they just want to be with this person. I have to tell it like it is. Y'all know this is my funeral card. So somebody may actually pass away from this because it's like, well, I want you, but I can't hear you. So that kind of way could, God, it could be on the... The, it could be on the line of like a fatal attraction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we have solitude in reverse and they don't like to be by themselves. Okay? So this could be a Bible. Somebody's reading from some kind of scripture or a hymn. All right? Yeah, somebody is going crazy over this because the fantasy that they have created for themselves is not being fulfilled. Um, <clears throat> someone can smell very musty as well. All right? Yeah, some, somebody, yes, somebody won't be able to take this heartbreak. It's like, if I can't have you, no one else in that kind of way, like a fatal attraction kind of way. And they're willing, to, they're, they're willing to hurt you if need be. Yeah, but you are protected, okay? You are protected. They wouldn't even be able to come nowhere near you. All right, they're watching you from afar. All right. They're watching you. They ain't taking shit. <laughs> like, what they, they, they may try to get, this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to take some kind of a loss or something from you. But if you're on the right side of things, this is what this person is trying to do to you, okay? But that ain't going to work. Like I said, the, the hand, they, they can't take, they can't snatch nothing from you, okay? Yeah, loss, because you have healed and you have moved forward here. And they hate that you have moved forward, okay? Yeah, they're trying to create some kind of loss. Like I said, that ain't going to happen because the transformation is here. 
you do things by yourself. You don't need no entourage. You don't need nobody around you. You're the lone wolf. And this person who's doing this whack-ass love spell, they don't know how to be by themselves. They're very codependent. And you don't need to be around somebody that's very codependent because all they're going to do is just bring you down. You don't need that negativity. You don't need that type of negativity into your life, okay? Um, so let's see who we got here. <clears throat> all right, we have a, a Pisces. Uh, we have Sage, we have Capricorn, 